Hi, I'm Cecily Walker, and I'm at one of my favorite vintage stores, Pilsen Vintage and Thrift in Chicago. And today, I'm going to give you a few tips on how to date and identify vintage clothing. This is from the 60s, and my first tip, if possible, always look at the tag. Unfortunately, this item does not have a tag, so that lets you know that items that don't have tags, it was made at home. You can also tell that it was homemade by the inside stitching. After the 70s, things began to be mass produced. So this item is from the 60s. It's called a tent dress, meaning it fits at the shoulder but has no waistline. This was a very popular dress in the 60s. Now we know it as the baby doll dress. The collar has the bold geometric shapes, the yellow and the blue, that matches the sleeves with the red, yellow, and blue. Very 60s. The next dress is from the 70s. This is very 70s chic. It's the halter top, tie in the back, low, metal zipper. A metal zipper is a good way to identify if your item is vintage. In 1963, they started using nylon or plastic zippers, but anything previous to that year was usually metal. This has the crocheted midriff, crocheted all on the bottom. The material is actually raised material and it looks like it's sewn together, almost like little pleats. Another way to date and identify vintage is by the tag or the designer. So hopefully if, if there is a tag, the designer's name is here. This particular designer is A.J. Berry. A.J. Berry was a very popular line in the 80s, known for the lavish dresses, cocktail dresses that were worn. Think about Dallas style. Those are easy ways for you to start identifying your vintage items. I'm Cecily Walker coming to you from Pilsen Vintage in Chicago.